from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist April Loveland. Well, it's a really nice start to the day as we take a live look over downtown Norfolk. Always love the shot here of the sunrise and Virginia Beach Town Center there in the distance. As we look at our current conditions, though, we are still in the 30s this morning. It is a frigid start to the day. We're looking at 30 right now on the peninsula, 36 for south side, 38 in North Carolina. Winds right now out of the west around 5, so very light winds this morning. And we'll continue with light winds throughout the day today. Not going to be dealing with those breezy conditions like we saw on Saturday. Highs today, though, a little bit below normal for this time of year. Normal high is 62, so a lot of us are actually going to struggle to get out of the 50s today. So at least 10 degrees cooler than yesterday, so you will feel a little bit of a chill in the air. 59 for the high today in Williamsburg, 60 in the at the oceanfront, 61 in Elizabeth City, 57 in Duck, a little chillier though in Chincoteague at 53 degrees, 54 in Melfa, milder in Norfolk at 60 degrees, 56 in Matthews, 57 in Waverly, 60 in Gatesville, and 59 down in Allander, North Carolina. Here's our temperature trend though heading into next week. We'll have another cold day for Monday and Tuesday with those below normal temperatures, but by Wednesday and Thursday, we have a nice little warm up here. We're going to see those winds pick up and switch to the southwest. That'll help to kind of pump in some warmer air from the south. We'll see those highs near 70 on Wednesday and the low 70s by Thursday. Big drop in temperatures though by Friday. We're going to see the low to mid 50s there behind a cold front. So we are tracking a pretty strong cold front that's going to move through. And we could maybe see a spotty shower from that, but the biggest thing is going to be that big drop in temperatures. First warning radar this morning, nice and dry out there. We have high pressure building in that's going to keep us dry. We do have a weak cold front that will move in overnight and that will see our temperatures drop a little bit again. As we look at our getting a closer look to home, you'll notice nice and dry out there, nice and clear. Our future cast here, we'll see a few more clouds building in overnight and into the day tomorrow. We'll see those kind of scour out as the day progresses though. So we're, we'll see a lot of sunshine once again on Monday, Tuesday, lots of sunshine there as well and nice and dry. You'll see our rain chances here. Virtually nothing over the next couple of days. 10% chance today, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday looking at a 0% chance and then a 20% chance on Thursday. So that is with that cold front. That is the day we could see those rain chances go up a little bit more. So just keep that in mind. If we do see any rain, it'll be later in the day on Thursday. Here's our next three days though. Definitely on the chilly side. Much cooler today with those highs near 58. Cool and windy on Monday. We'll see highs near 55 degrees and you'll notice those temperatures overnight still on the cold side. Mostly sunny heading into Tuesday. We'll see 57 degrees and then by Wednesday, mostly sunny. You'll notice our morning lows will start rising a little bit as well, so it's not going to be quite as frigid. A spotty chance for a shower on Thursday. We'll see 72 degrees and then the 50s on Friday, so that big drop in temperatures there. And then 58 heading into your Saturday with partly cloudy skies.